Oké, okay. half jong. Uh, <laughs> so, I am um, having some difficulties now. And I don't really know what to do to fix it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure it out. But I thought I at least needed to get the message out. Tell, tell you guys. Since uh, I say I'm gonna be doing it every day, right? And if I just skip a day, then it's like, okay, what's going on? Wait, is that something over there? But as you can see, the lag is incredible. And it's absolutely awful. And... Um, yeah, I, I don't know what to do to fix it. So I'm gonna be figuring that out. Uh, I don't think I can do it, like, right now. I have a suspicion I um, of what it is that's causing this lag. But I mean... It's so bad, I'm even getting uh, warnings from uh, Streamlabs OBS. Yeah. Yeah, skipped frames detected 26% over the last two minutes. And, um... It's really bad, it's really bad. I don't, I don't... The only time I've had this problem was, uh, When playing Superliminal, but that was also the first time I ever used OBS or Streamlabs OBS. So I didn't even realize it was skipping frames. So I kind of learned that the hard way. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what to do about it. At least not right now. Also, it kind of it kind of doesn't make sense to me since uh I mean, Valheim it's worked before, right? But for some reason it's being so laggy today. Wait. Okay, it kind of kind of let up a bit. It's kind of working. Nope. Nope. So laggy. So, uh, yeah, because I really wanted to show up this new location uh, we found. So after my last stream, right, uh, <laughs> I played a bit more. I actually played for several hours <laughs> after uh, with Kimberly. And we found this new location. And it's a really, really handy location because we found and already I repaired I repaired the cabin but we found the cabin so we didn't have to worry about making another hut for shelter right and I had the material for portal with me and we have the other portal already set up at the home base so I can just go back if I want to so we're currently on another island but yeah the cool thing about this this exact location is that we have the swamps over there behind the forest we have the mountains and the wintry biome, snowy biome up there. And if you continue going that way, you get through the black forest. And then you get to the plains. So we have every single biome on the same island. Also, by the way, we used a boat. And I absolutely love the boat compared to the raft. So I kind of wanted to show the route we ended up taking. As you can see. It's kind of expensive. I don't know how much I can actually actually show because of the awful lag why <laughs> why would you have to lag but yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna try I don't know I can't even see my code it's so painful to watch yeah skipped frames detected 85% over the last two minutes my god I I seriously don't know anything else I can really do because of the absolutely ridiculous lag but I wanted to do something right so yeah I thought I'd tell the story maybe if I just zoom in is it gonna is it gonna change anything oh my god it's lagging so bad okay so as you can see this is uh, the island we started on right and I figured out that every map is unique I didn't know that <laughs> I was trying to search uh, where the swamp biome was because I need to go there to get scrap iron because I want to start making rare and stuff and uh, stone structures. So I was searching up uh, how to get to the swamp biome and it said that every map is unique so uh, yay. So we, we had to go and explore right? But 
because of the last time I streamed that's going on a raft and that took so long. I kind of didn't want to do it again in case, but it turned out to actually be really fun, so I might do it more. I mean, there's a lot more map to actually explore, but also since there are two elder locations I currently have on the map. You can see there is one in the upper left corner and one in the bottom right corner. I think if it could, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah, and since we'd already gone up to get to Aether, uh, I thought, okay, let's go down this time. Let's stick to the shoreline of this island. By the way, black forest is everywhere. For some reason, I don't, I don't understand that. So we were, you know, on a boat. It was actually really nice, and uh, even if the wind is against you, you can still move forward, like relatively fast speed, which was interesting. And yeah, I, I put a pin there. It says village, because it was basically like an abandoned village. It was really cool, and I kind of wanted to restore it. Uh yeah, if I could. Because it, it looked really, really cool. But, so we were continuing down here, right? And, uh... Yeah, if I was going to continue following the shoreline, we would have just gone in a circle. I don't know. I'm trying to show with the cursor, but it's lagging so bad. Oh my god. But yeah, so it's like, okay, okay, let's take a risk. Because we saw a mountain in the distance, and if the cursor could move... Oh my god, it's absolutely awful to watch, I'm so sorry. Yeah, okay, you can see where the cursor is now. Uh, there was a big mountain, and we was like, can we go there? So I uh, I faced my fear, okay, and I went over the ocean, and we did not see a sea serpent, so I'm happy about that, but I will still not ever go over the ocean in the middle of the night during a storm. So yeah. So we got to this <laughs> this island. And, uh, as you can tell, we went around it. Because, uh, also, when you go around, when you follow the shoreline like this, it's easier to map out where the different islands are, and how big they are. So you can see, this one isn't really that big. But yeah, so we ended up in this spot, if my cursor could move. Please. Oh my god, I am so sorry, I need to figure out what's wrong with this. Come on! Yeah, I guess that's close enough. You can see uh, the bottom part of the island there. And, uh, actually there. Okay, we can go there, build the two beds, a fire, and the sleep. So, the night will pass. And <laughs> there were a lot of great wolves there. In addition to some shamans and brutes, which was nice. So we um, ended up... <laughs> that, that was stressful. We had to kill all of them. And... Uh, and we was like, you know, maybe, maybe next time, let's not try to find shelter in the back forest. <laughs> so we learned our lesson. But then we spent so much time there, uh, just waiting, <laughs> just killing these great wolf brutes. Because we, we wouldn't have enough time to get on the boat to get away from them. Without them actually killing us first. But we managed to do it though. Uh, by the time we were finished, it was day already. Uh, but we saw this other island, as you can see, and it wasn't actually really too far away, so I was kind of surprised that we went over the ocean, that the part between these two islands are ocean, and not just... Not ocean, <laughs> if that makes sense. But finally found a swamp. It's tiny. It's so tiny. You can see it compared to other island. This is so tiny. But still, it, it was a swamp. And, uh, yeah, you can also see we went... That was my phone, I'm sorry. Uh, we followed the shoreline again. So, and yeah, we've almost... Uh, uh, yeah. You can almost see the whole, whole island just on the map, right? Um, we got to this part here. If my cursor could move. Please? No? Could you, could you? Okay. Anyway, bottom right bottom right part of the island and we thought oh this this looks peaceful because our main priority was to actually get like a portal set up uh, in a swamp because we want iron we need iron right and I know you can't I know you can't take it with you through a portal but 
It would be nice to have like a base in the swampy biome. So we could get resources and stuff, and even if we can't take the iron with us through the portal, we'd still have access to it. We just have to take the boat back. Which isn't really isn't really too bad. The <laughs> so we found this very, very nice and peaceful peaceful spot, right? And uh, oh I don't feel rested anymore. Okay, that's probably not gonna show up on the screen. <laughs> My god, I'm so sorry about the lag. I will see what I can do to fix it. I was so surprised when I noticed it. But yeah, we found this really peaceful spot and uh, was like, okay, okay, let's uh, let's uh, let's go onto land here. Let's uh, let's uh, <laughs> park the boat. <laughs> I don't know what you say when you refer to boats. I mean, it's park your car, but you park a boat. But anyway, okay, I guess that's off topic. But yeah, we were gonna <laughs> go on, go on land. And at this point, we had one leech following us. It's basically like a big eel. I uh, was kind of surprised that they call it a leech because I'm used to a leech being like a small creature that just kind of like a parasite that sucks your blood and stuff. But it was kind of like a big eel and it was following us from the boat, so Kimberly tried shooting it and we didn't manage to kill one. We didn't get the loot for it though. Because there was another one there, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, so we were just on a, on the boat right outside of the island. With at this point, we had two leeches. Uh, yeah, going about under under the boat. They couldn't attack us for some reason. I don't know if that's supposed to be a thing, but the leeches didn't attack the boat. Although I think they tried, but it didn't it didn't take damage. So I don't know what was up with that. But then we saw a Draugr. I'm gonna I'm gonna pronounce it Draugr. I don't I don't really know how you say it, but Draugr. Basically like Nordic version of a zombie. <laughs> and uh, I was like, oh Kim, you wanna try shooting it? Yeah, that was a bad idea. By the way. <laughs> if you see a Draugr, don't shoot it. At least if you've never encountered one before. We didn't even know what they were called. But the first time we saw him was when we approached the island for the first time, not having gone around it yet. And it was walking across the waterbed. Like the bottom. Along the sand and stuff. And it was like, you can walk in the water. Okay. But yeah, anyway, so she shot it and she hit. And it obviously aggroed, right? But we thought, we're on the boat. He, he can't swim. He just walks along the waterbed, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, he one shot at her, so she died, and I was left there alone with this boat and a drogger after me and two leeches. <laughs> so I'm doing my best to just try to not die, right? Because if I die too, that would kind of hurt. Because uh, <laughs> yeah, the boat would be left there and material to make another portal. And uh, I had a bronze equipment on me and stuff. So it was like, okay, okay, I can't, I can't die. So I managed to get the drogu to de aggro. The leeches still followed me though. But I think one, one, I think one of them de aggroed, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, because I had one following me for the most of the time. But because of that one, I couldn't, because I needed to get at least some of Kim's stuff back since she had bronze equipment on her. And, uh,. So I can't, I can't just leave it, I have to get some of it back. But I can't go into the water either because of the leech. So I was kind of... I was having to steer the boat to go not over it, but just beside it, so I was close enough to access her inventory. But as it's really hard to stop the boat, I had to be quick about it because the boat would keep going past it. So I went several times back and forth over it just to try to access the inventory and I finally I finally figured out uh, the best way to do it so I got most of the stuff back at least at least the important stuff she was talking with me at the time so she told me what she wanted and uh, yes I got her hood <laughs> uh, she had a bronze axe too and uh, yeah a couple of different stuff but I, I, I managed to get most of it back though that took ages but at some point during this this escapade, or 
I don't I don't know if that's the right word for it, but it it sounded nice. Uh, it it got dark because I'd used all of the day to try and get her stuff back, right? And suddenly I have a wraith following me, and I I was scared because I didn't even see it, and it suddenly attacked me, and it attacked the boat, and I was like, I've never seen this monster before, and if I die, what do we do then? <laughs> Uh, so I was like, nope, run away, run away, run away right now. And yeah, at that point I didn't even know what it was, so I searched it up after I got it to the aggro, and apparently they only show up during the night, so I'm never gonna go into the swamp biome during the night. Unless I need to kill them, but before I know how to kill them, I'm not going to go into the swamp biome during the night. Uh, so yeah, I have this one after me, and uh... I was kind of panicking at that point because I had to steer the boat, I had to quickly get out of there um, to run away from it so it would de-aggro. I didn't even know if I was going to be quicker than it. Uh, luckily I did though, I did get it to de-aggro so I didn't, I didn't die, okay? Thank God for that. Uh, but then I had to go back, the, by the way the leech is still after me, remember that one, kind of being a pest, but I got it to de-aggro. Uh, yeah, I got to go back and got most of Kim's stuff, and then I was like, okay, you know what? We're not gonna settle down on this island. Everything tries to kill us. Like, quite literally. So, I went back up the shoreline, because I was like, okay, okay, since we are down here, why not just make a base close to the Elder, like we did with Aethir, right? So, when we're at the main base, we can just portal to Aethir's location, and it makes stuff a lot easier. So, we followed this path upwards, and went over the ocean again, so I'm got, I've gotten better at that. And then we met this new island, and of course it was Black Forest again, because it's always Black Forest. But when we reached there, we kind of managed to get at the exact point where it differentiates between being a swamp and the Black Forest. And then we were like, didn't actually see that it was a swamp part before we got really close. <laughs> it was like, after after that last encounter, there's no way we're gonna go to the swamp. Okay, by the way, by the way, I guess I should probably say this too. So, remember this spot, if, if, it, if it wants to show up. Uh, the part to the left, no right, right, is black forest, but the little part to the left is meadows. <laughs> so we were like, after the whole escapade there, and trying to not die by the great wolves, we were like, oh my god, if we'd just gone a bit further, we would have reached the meadows. So yeah, but I went back to the meadows there, when I figured out that, that there actually were meadows, and I managed to set up, because I had, I was clever, right? So if you go, if you ever venture out somewhere, uh, like the two of you, or if you if you have even more friends joining you, always have a portal, like an unconnected portal set up at the base, like where you would respawn, and always bring enough material to make a portal with you. So I had enough material to make a portal with me, and I had a um, portal set up at the main base where she would respawn, right? So I set up the portal there and she could rejoin me. So yeah, I, I was feeling really clever about that. Okay, I think some things are gonna start attacking me, it's getting dark. But, yeah, anyway, so we reached, we reached this place, and, uh, you know what, you know what, actually, it's not, it's not swamp and black forest, it's swamp and meadows. We were like, ooh, meadows, okay, okay. Uh, let's continue a bit up. Let's see if we can actually find shelter. So I think we first parked at this spot here. Please show up, please show up. Okay, sir, can you move? I'm trying to show the spot. Please? My god. Ah. Uh, could you, could you, please? No? Okay, anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so we first parked there and went on to land to see if there were, were anything there. Uh, and we can we can see in a building, so I was like, okay, okay, you know what? Do you want to go further down to see if we can find um, a building so we can just fix it and place beds in it and uh, take shelter there? So we did that and we continued down and we found we found a house. 
and we took shelter there and uh, yeah that's where a portal is currently and that's also where I am now if 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 it wants to actually show I close the map it's still on there you go there you go so we have this hut if it if it wants to show yeah it's currently it's currently also dark I'm so sorry about the lag I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sleep so um, so it'll be day again but yeah we found this spot and uh, I mean you could obviously see the mountain right the snowy biome we haven't been up there yet but it's there and we have access to it which is really nice day 108 so we were just uh, gathering some resources and uh, doing stuff right uh, well, I tried to explore, so I went further down, and this area a bit further down is a black forest. So, if if it just wants to work, you can see I have pinned some spots there. I found a burial chamber, and then I found two copper copper veins, which is I found three copper veins apparently. And I went I went far enough, and I found the plains. Oh oh oh! It's not like. Okay, it is lagging. It is lagging still. Okay. I spoke too soon. I was gonna say, oh, it's not too bad. It's not as bad as it's been, but no, it started again. But yeah, I found the planes, and there is a lox. It is a lox. Yeah, in the area where my cursor is. I thought they were peaceful, but apparently they are aggressive. I searched it up, by the way. That's not an experience I made myself. Which is also kind of nice, because uh, I don't want to die. <laughs> so yeah, we managed to find an island with plains over here, mountain. Oh, it started lagging again. Yeah, in this area, and swamp here. Also with the meadows and black forest. So this is an amazing island, so we have a portal here. And the elder is over here, so I'm gonna figure out if I can... I need to craft a new boat, I destroyed the last one. Because uh, we settled down, right? So I wanted the materials back. <laughs> but yeah, all we need to do now is uh, at least find where we can summon the elder and actually do it. Because I figured out, I thought you just had to find the sunken crypts in the swamp biome and uh, clear those to be able to get some scrap iron at least but to be able to unlock the, the sunken crypts you <laughs> need a key you get from doing the elder fight and uh, the elder boss is apparently really hard to do uh, so I we need to prepare for that also by the way I made an uh, ass gear I think I think it's called it's really cool, so it has like a stab, and its secondary attack is a swipe. Wow, that did nothing. Please, why didn't you freeze now? Can't you? I just wanted to show up the attack, please. Please? Is it, is it kind of working? No? Oh yeah, okay, okay. You can kind of see it now. It's really cool and I really like it and I upgraded it so it does a lot of damage. But yeah, the Elder. So I need to figure out how to do that most efficiently. I did search a bit about it and I think if I'm not alone I should be able to do it. But the problem though is that you know Aether can rally the forest, right? So uh, otherwise peaceful creatures start attacking you and... Uh, like the wildlife actively seeks you out and attacks you. Uh, apparently, if you defeat the elder and you've already killed the troll, which I obviously have, <laughs> you can see on my armor, uh, a new kind of event starts where trolls attack your base. And I don't want that. Because also, for now, you can see the